How's it going guys? It's K-Cars and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about why Jeeps are still popular and why they're so good. I'm going to be specifically talking about the Wrangler. Now that it's winter time, you guys will probably be seeing more of the Jeep content like I did last year. I did some snow driving and that was a lot of fun. I tried to drift this Jeep in the snow. I'll put that clip right over here. So as you saw, it was a lot of fun, and you guys can definitely expect some more Jeep content coming up in the future. I'm actually going to be doing a video with my friend who has an old Ford truck, and we're going to be trying to race them like on the street, because obviously a truck and a Jeep, like they're really slow, so I think it would be interesting to see which one's fastest, and then we're also going to go off-roading to see how the truck compares against the Jeep. So let's go ahead and start off and talk about what makes the Jeep Wrangler so popular. Most people probably know that the Jeep Wrangler is a descendant of the Willys Jeep that came out in the 1940s for military use and the reason that they think it's called the Jeep is because in the military it was abbreviated GP for general purpose and I guess they just called it Jeep just for short so there's really not that many vehicles like the Jeep that have such good heritage like all the way back from the 1940s and the Jeep is one of those vehicles so I think that's one of the reasons that it's still popular today the big reason that it's still popular is the design so as you can see it does have the seven slots here in the front and I'm pretty sure that means that it's been on all seven continents. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Along with the seven slotted grille, it also has the rounded headlights, the flat fenders, and the fold down windshield. It also has the removable doors and the removable hard top or soft top. I think a lot of people like that. And all of these design things like go back to the Willys Jeep. So the Willys Jeep had all these features. And the Jeep Wranglers that they produce now still have those same features. So I think that's another reason that the Jeep Wranglers are so popular today. I think sometime in the future, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to actually remove the doors on the Jeep Wrangler and the hardtop. So if you guys wanna see that video, make sure to subscribe. But as I said, the Wrangler has all the designs for the first Willys Jeep, but then if you go on the inside, it's like a modern vehicle pretty much. Now it's not gonna be luxurious like any other sedan or any other SUV, but the Jeep Wrangler is made for off-roading basically and that's what it's great at. So the inside is going to be luxurious compared to the old Jeeps, but it still maintains the old style that the Willys Jeeps had. Of course it's still modernized like I said, but on the inside it's completely different from the old Willys Jeep. Another reason that the Jeep Wrangler is so popular is because of its capabilities. Not only off-road, but also on-road. As you guys probably know, the Jeep Wrangler JK has a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 making 285 horsepower. It's not bad, but when you actually drive the Jeep, it's really slow. Like, you literally can't, like you can't even keep up with traffic sometimes, that's how bad it is. So it's not extremely capable on-road, but when you take it off-road, that's what it's made for, so that's what it does best. Right here you guys can see the really good approach angle that the Jeep has. It also has really good ground clearance, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the back, show you guys what the departure angle looks like. Yeah, there's a bunch of space in the back. Then you can see the ground clearance is really good. You have these rock guards or rock rails. I'm not really sure what they're called. Also it works like a step thing, so you can just step up. It can actually also guard the body of the Jeep so it doesn't get messed up by like rocks or logs that you drive over. It also has a really rugged transmission for off-roading. You could get it in a six-speed manual or an automatic. This Jeep is actually a six-speed manual and it's Really fun to drive. I actually learned how to drive manual on this Jeep and it gives you a lot more control when you're actually off-roading So that's really useful too. It also has solid front and rear axles and coilover suspension and obviously it has four-wheel drive So with all that combined, it's pretty much the perfect off-road vehicle And that's what pretty much makes it the best off-road vehicle that you can buy One of the best things about the Jeep Wrangler is the amount of aftermarket accessories that you can put on the Jeep Like this light bar that you see here. I'm not really sure if you can see it that well and also these KC lights right here. I know a lot of people like to modify their cars and vehicles especially Jeeps so that's why if you like modifying vehicles then the Jeep is definitely good for you because there's literally unlimited amount of accessories you can put on your Jeep. Pretty much the most customizable vehicle that you can get. With the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 you actually do get about 17 miles per gallon in the city and 21 on the highway which isn't great but you know, Jeeps usually do get pretty bad gas mileage and 17 and 21 really isn't terrible. Another reason that it's so popular is that Jeep Wranglers hold their value extremely well. 
So according to Kelly Blue Book, Tyler can actually hold about 69% of its value within the first three years, which is actually really impressive. And then after five years, it'll still have about 58% of its original value. If you're looking for a vehicle to go off-roading and have a lot of fun in, but you also don't wanna get hit by depreciation too bad, then the Wrangler is definitely gonna be a good investment for you. And that's also a reason that a lot of people get Wranglers is because of the resale value, because they don't wanna lose a whole bunch of money when they buy it new or even used. The reason that it can hold its resale value so well is because, number one, because of its heritage that goes back all the way to the 1940s with the Willys Jeep, and also because it's so rugged and durable. So a lot of people like that about it, and that's why they're willing to pay more for it, and when you buy it, you don't lose as much money as you would when you buy a different car. Another reason that it's so popular is because it has so many special editions. There's three different models of the Wrangler you can get. It's the Sport, Sahara, and the Rubicon. But then within those models, there's a bunch of different trims you can get, a bunch of special editions. So for example, this one is the Rubicon Hard Rock. So Rubicon, that's like the model, and the Hard Rock, that's like the special edition of it. There's actually also a Willys edition Jeep Wrangler that looks exactly like the JK, but it has some unique features that goes back to the Willys Jeep. It's also a really safe vehicle to take off-roading. Now, it might not be the safest vehicle on the road, but when you're off-roading, you definitely need to have a lot of protection too. For example, it actually does have a two and a half millimeter skid plate on the bottom, which protects all the underbody from any rocks or logs that you might be driving over. It also has really good fog lights, so you know, if you're like driving in the fog, obviously you need to have fog lights so you can see a lot better. This one actually came with LED lights. I believe that was new for 2017. So that's a really cool option that they added. It also has these front mounted towing hooks, which you can see right there, that red thing. So if you ever get stuck, which you probably won't, but if you ever have to pull somebody out, you can just attach a rope to that and then attach it to the other car and easily pull them out because these tow hooks are really strong. So you definitely want to have those when off-roading. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit on the inside of the Jeep and just see what it looks like. So there you can see the three pedals because it is a manual. So obviously, like I said, it's really not going to be that luxurious. But as you can see, it does have heated seats, not cooled seats, but just heated. You can also turn off your traction control right there. You actually do have an electricity port, which I'll show you soon. And then there's also the heated seat for the passengers. So whenever you want to plug something into the electricity port in here, it's literally just right here. And it's like a regular wall outlet. Once you plug something in there, you actually have to press this button to supply power to it. And then it's just like a regular wall outlet, like I said. And as I was saying before, it's really not that great on road. As you can see, the speedometer only goes up to 100 miles an hour, but I doubt it could even go like above 80 to be completely honest. So it really is for off-roading. It's really not that good on road. Even on the highway, like there's kind of a little bit of play in the steering wheel. So you have to constantly be adjusting like your steering input on the highway because at high speeds it is kind of hard to control especially if it's windy because it does have a pretty big surface area on the outside so the wind literally moves it wherever it wants to and then here you can see just your standard radio no touch screen or anything fancy it actually does have a cd player i know a lot of cars these days don't even have cd players so it's pretty cool that the jeep actually does have one and you can see it does have sirius xm radio and then this one actually did come with the Alpine stereo system, which is pretty cool. I'm not really sure how many speakers it has or anything about that because I don't listen to music while driving, even in the Jeep. And as I was saying before, this Jeep it does have the six speed manual, which is really fun to drive. Like I said, I actually did learn how to drive stick on this Jeep. It's really useful for off-roading because you don't just leave the Jeep guessing what gear it should be in. You're always in control. Whenever I'm off-roading, I'm usually just in first gear the whole time because I don't really go that fast when I'm off-roading. And then for your four-wheel drive switch, it's right over here. Two-wheel drive is all the way up and then you pull it back for four-wheel four drive high. Then to the right and down for four low. So I've actually never used four low but that's for like rock crawling because then the RPMs are gonna be really high even if you're going really slow. So that's basically what that does. So I'm not sure if you guys can see what that says, but the Rubicon actually does come with a sway bar disconnect and axle lock. So for the sway bar disconnect, that's if you're like doing some extreme off-roading. The sway bar is disconnected. 
this wheel would be able to travel a lot more and the same with the other wheel so that's basically what that does that's the best i can explain it the axle lock that's pretty much your differential lock so you can lock both front and rear so it's really useful if you're like stuck in mud or trying to go in snow. You can also use it as kind of like a downhill descent control. So for example, if you're driving down a steep hill and it's really snowy, there's ice, you can put it into four low, put it in first gear and then lock both differentials and just take your foot off the brake, off the gas and it'll crawl down really slowly. And because both axles are locked, then each wheel is gonna spin the same speed. So for example, if only one tire gets traction then the other side is going to be spinning at the same speed so in a way it kind of could be better than abs brakes because you're not completely locking up the wheels you're just crawling down at a really slow speed there you go guys that's my opinion of why the jeep wrangler is still so popular so the main reasons are because of its american heritage it goes back to the 1940s with the willys jeep and as you can see jeep wranglers of today still have some of the design features of the willys jeep Except the inside is modernized, like it has heated seats, AC, like I showed you guys. But the outside still maintains that boxy look, the seven slotted grille, which I think is really cool and that's why it's really popular. Another reason is that because of its off-road capabilities, it's pretty much the biggest reason that I think people get Jeep Wranglers. Another big reason is the resale value. Like I said, it maintains 69% of its original value within the first three years, and then it's 58% in the first five years. So there you can see it really does hold its value extremely well if you compare it to other cars. And like I said, now since it is winter time, you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more Jeep content. Whenever it snows, I'm gonna to try to go out and just drive around in the snow, see how it does. And I'm also planning on going off-roading with my friend that has an old Ford truck and also racing them on the street to see which one's faster, which one's slower. Honestly, I think the Jeep's gonna lose just because I know how slow they really are. Yeah, that should be a lot of fun. If you guys wanna see more Jeep content, definitely subscribe. If you wanna see some off-roading, let me know down in the comments because I'm definitely gonna be doing that. If you guys like the video or if you wanna add anything like suggestions on what I missed, definitely comment those down below. And if you guys liked the video or found it entertaining, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.